Hello there and welcome to Salt Hill show number five. I'm making a salt hill for the storage of my hand saws here in the workshop. And this is going to be a pretty exciting show. I'm going to be picking up where I left off with our dovetails. Now let's just see where we are. We've laid out the dovetails and we made our initial saw cuts here and I've marked the waste that we're going to be removing today. So that's where we are. Let me show you where we where we're going. I've already done this one and you can see the waste has been removed. These spaces here are known as the pin sockets and the pins on the other board will go into those sockets and complete the joint. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now the first step is going to be sawing most of the waste out and then we'll come in with a chisel and remove the rest of it. And typically I've been using a coping saw to cut out most of that waste. Now just for fun, I have a new toy. Check this out. This is also a, a saw for the same purpose, but it uses scroll saw blades, which are narrower and thinner and fit better into the kerf. So I keep hearing about this thing. We'll give it a try and see if it works for us. Okay. Where are my glasses? Okay. I fiddle for my glasses at least once per show. So there it is. Okay. I want to get close to my line here without going over. Just proceed straight on across. And now I'm just going to reverse that and get those other corners. See how we did here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So most of it has been removed and now it's on to the chisel and I'll be using my brand new Lee Nielsen chisels. Check these out. I've been using those blue handled chisels and they've served me very well, no complaints, but I'm anxious to see how these perform. Okay, now it's very important when I made those initial saw cuts that they be perpendicular to the faces of the boards because if they're not perpendicular you're going to get gaps or tight spots when you try to join your boards together. So there's a couple things you can do to measure and see whether you're having a problem or not. You can measure the bottoms of your pin sockets with a small square like this but measuring, checking these sides of the dovetail isn't very easy with this. It gets in the way. It's tough to really see any gaps if there are any. So what I do is I found that if I take a flat surface and there's nothing better or flatter than the back of your chisel and hold it against your dovetail wall like this 
And then you can line it up right against the wall and measure it with your square from the outside. If you can see that, but that's really right on. I'm kind of happy with that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So that's nice and square, and it's a lot easier to see it here than it, than it is trying to measure inside here, because this is long, and this actually, when you think about it, magnifies your error, just like a winding stick does, and makes it a lot easier to see and measure. So, that's that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Okay, what I've done here is I've put my pin board in the vise. I'm laying my dovetailed board over top of it. I'm going to transfer my dovetail lines onto my pin board. So here we go. Okay, transferred my lines onto the pin board, and just to make them a little bit easier to see, Okay, to tell you the truth, I saw a few errant cuts there, so pairing will be involved, but I uh, think, thankfully, that most of my error occurred on the waist side, so uh, pairing will fix it. We'll see. I have the pin board chopped out, and I did have to do a little pairing. It didn't fit right off the saw. I had to get in there and do some pairing. And I like to pair the pin board because the spacing between the pins is greater, and I have plenty of room to get in there with my chisel and remove material if I have to. It's much easier to do that on the pin board than it is to do it on the dovetail board where you've got much smaller spaces between. So. Let's try it on. There we are. Not too bad. And it's starting to actually look like something. It's looking like a sawtooth. So, when we come back, we're going to be doing the glue up, and that's going to be real exciting. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, and see you then.
Wasn't that great?